So once the children are older and they have some experience of being able to recognize, sort, match, classify, name all of these objects and like I said they have a little bit of sound symbol recognition, they are able to string small words together, we can begin this exercise of sight reading and matching. It's a simple exercise as you will guess the child sees the first picture, the first picture and says car and has all of these words with him and he begins to pick up and he pick up, picks up the car and places it here with the car. Picks up the fish and matches it with the fish. Picks up the boat and matches it with the boat. Picks up the cat and places it with the cat. The flower with the flower and the ball with the ball. This can go up to the second step and that is once they are thorough with these words like I have ten words so these are six of them you do it with the rest of the four the butterfly, the leaf, the tree, all of those and then remove the pictures. I remove the pictures and just leave the written words here and then they have to match word to word. Fla, fla. Fish, fish. Boat, boat. Ball, ball. Cat, cat. Car, car. As you can see, I have used only lower case letters. Please don't use letters in capital and bold. Use them as they are seen in books, just in the same font, like they are seen in their pre-reading books or their easy reading books. Use the words like this, print them clearly. You should not, and your writing has to be extremely clear. Children with autism will come to this step very, very quickly. They may not even need the pictures with them, but they will be able to match. And this is also called sight reading because they are matching the shape of the fish with the fish, the cat with the cat. So it's you may find that the child will make a little bit of a, he may have a bit of a problem in matching car and cat and similarly ball and boat because both of them begin with the B. So you can keep, you can play around with all of these. Thank you.